hers on my lap. That's nice. Oh, but now maybe it's back. There she goes. <laughs> um. Okay, so we should be back. This is Sir Curtis. Why? And he's so cute. So, uh, Kim Deed and I are going to attempt to trap um, kittens shortly. Uh, the older kittens we've been, I've been talking about over at the TNR site. So we'll see about that. Oh, big girl, 970. That's good, today is Tuesday and spays are Friday. The cable did not get fixed. Um, the cable guy, I guess they hadn't booked the right kind of appointment for him and he was running behind and then there was the whole raccoon incident. So uh, they were going to call me and reschedule, but that has not yet happened. Or it may have happened, but I don't, oh no, I do have my phone. So it has not happened yet. Um, look at that little kitty that she's so wound up right now. Whoa, <laughs> that was amazing. Amazing. She's so cute. So cute. Uh, let's see how much this Junie weighs. Ooh, ounces. Oh, 992. Excellent. Good job, Junie. Um. Oh, I better get you guys another can. <laughs> I'll bring you some back, don't worry. More time cleaning your face in the meantime. more foods for you. That is very exciting. What about you? Don't you want some more breakfast? 900. You've got some catching up to do. Burp. She's got some burping to do. Oh good. Look at her cleaning her face like a big girl. Uh... What else? I feel like it's been such an eventful couple of days or week that I have no idea what else is going on. Um, oh, I uh, printed out the comments for, uh, for the property owner. Um, for those of you who sent, wanted to send thank you comments, um, thank you for doing that. There were 536 comments, which is, I think, pretty phenomenal um, and I think he will be blown away I don't think he has any sort of idea <laughs> that hopefully he won't be you know blown away in a bad way <laughs> but so many people are aware of what he, what you know is happening over there but um, I don't think he will be I'm, so anyway I I was blown away by the number of comments um, and so thank you to everyone who did that, that, um, uh, I'm sure will, uh, be appreciated by him because he has given us a lot of time and put up with, you know, people on his property and stuff. So, um, little crickets, what are you doing? What are you doing? You have to eat a snuggle with me or eat more food. Those are your choices. Now where are you going? Or eat your license. Okay, you can have your license. 
And then you can go play. There you go. Go on. Go play. Whoops, do that stuck to me. Um, so that is 23 pages printed out. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, Linda did send me an update on Forest. He's into that little badger eat. He's so excited. Um, she said, she is a sweet and smart little one, very resilient. Since she is learning to play, we borrowed a toy from the house kittens and introduced it after a thorough cleaning. She immediately claimed it and only has to be shown a couple of times how it works. Food is still the center of all we do, but we are getting lots of snuggles. She is a purr machine and is also learning the art of grooming. <laughs> Needs a bit of help, but it's coming. She's still gaining weight slowly but steadily. I have a video clip of her grooming, but I take pretty lovely pictures. She actually takes totally great pictures. So, um, so that's awesome. I'll uh, post some photos uh, as soon as I have a chance to do that. Um, but um, that's great. Foster mom Linda is uh, has lots of experience with feral, and um, so it's really great that she has Forrest with her and obviously they're obviously Forrest is a remarkable kitten because she's not exhibiting the uh, usual eight week old kitten ferociousness um, What else? Uh, there you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so cute. Oh, you're both so cute. These guys are ridiculously adorable. Um, Spay day is Friday and Monday. Um, and then adoption day is the 24th. I don't know if we said, I think we said a time. I have to double check. Um, so these guys will be here till the 24th. I'm sure everyone will be excited about that. Um, if a new mama cat happens to come in. Um, we may need to do some shuffling around. Um, because I, things are pretty full up right now at Tiny Kittens HQ. Um, but I think I could, I could uh, reorganize a bit to make room, to make it work. So, uh, Oh, aren't you so cute? Katie eats wet food sometimes, but she uh, seems to graze on the kibbles. Primarily, because she never seems to be interested when I first put it down, but then she'll eventually join the herd at some point, sometime. She's just very busy right now. That's weird. I guess someone did try to call me, but it didn't ever show. It doesn't have it shown up on my phone. That's weird. Weird. Uh, let's see. The big room the Sesame Street kittens were in um, is full of 
uh, feral food and supplies and things. Um, and I could contain small kittens in there, but I uh, could not contain like these kittens. So they're not, you know, all over the place. So if I, I could let them out there, but um, they would basically be just free range kittens. Or I could have a mama cat out there and she would be free range in the room, which is mostly fine. Um, here's Billy Keith. Where'd it go? Oh, did you get enough to eat, big boy? Let's see how big this boy is. Oh, and big boy. We need to do some nail trims, don't we? Podicures. So I have lots of stuff that I need to get some shelving. 1170, big boy. I need to get some shelving and try to put more. I, I, I did get the back room organized, which is good, but I need, a, I, no, I'm not, I need some more shelving and stuff. To, it's amazing the variety of supplies that um, you need. Uh, or that come in handy when you're doing cat stuff. Um, there's a wide variety of items and many of them are oddly shaped <laughs> and take up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. So that's my issue right now. Um, Uh, Cisco is uh, doing better, I think. She seems to be a bit more uh, relaxed. She doesn't move around too much during the day. She's currently on the shelf in the closet. You can see her little head up there. Um, so, uh, Still hoping to be able to trap her a friend. Um, I probably, if she gets, you know, so she seems like she's close to having babies, I probably won't try to introduce anyone at that point. So it would be nice if it happened in the next couple of days, but I don't know if it will. Oh, and look at Look at you. So adorable. Better. <laughs> oh my goodness, so delightful. Um, I am very excited to use our new uh, remote triggers for the traps. Um, that's super exciting. Yay! Uh, if you saw that yesterday, I opened these big box with the, oh, get it, get it, Junior, with these remote uh, control triggers so that we don't have to use the, the boxes with the string. Uh, and then, you know, all of the challenges, the logistical challenges of, of, uh, of that whole situation. So, um, that'll be exciting. So we're actually going to use them today for the first time. So, what are you doing, Badge? Oh, he's so cute. I don't want to distract Cricket from her face cleaning if that's a very important task for her to be doing. <laughs> um... I 
I did uh, have a little bit of an interaction with Cisco yesterday. Um, she had, I think it was yesterday, she had taken up residence uh, behind the nesting bins, but on top of the, so her, her bum was kind of resting on the feel away uh, diffuser that was plugged in there, and she had sort of dislodged it. And so I wanted to unplug it the rest of the way so that she didn't uh, get a little shock. Um, and so I just quickly did it, but it spooked her a little bit. It wasn't too bad though. And she just went up onto the windowsill and um, I talked to her for a little bit. Um, her pupils were pretty normal. Um, she certainly didn't want me coming any closer. I, I did back away all the way to the door and, you know, gave her the slow blinky eyes and stuff. And so she kind of, she was definitely ready to run at a moment's notice, but she wasn't like terrified, which is good. Um, Sloane never, never really panicked when I came in the room. She just kind of hunkered down wherever she was. Um, Cisco has that, like she will run away and she usually runs to the window. Um, but uh, I do think she is less scared. Her, her respiration rate, her breathing rate um, seems to be pretty steady, pretty normal. Um, unlike the first couple of days when it would get quite high from time to time. Um, she, so she does seem to, and she's, she's um, out in the open a lot more. Uh, than she was before, so um, well, not a lot more. It depends. Sometimes she is, sometimes she isn't. But I think that's a good sign too. So um, that's all I all I want is for her to be, you know, to feel safe enough and to feel that her babies are safe enough that um, that she she is able to care for them and that she's not terrified the whole time. Um, since it is a short-term thing for her, I have some gold for the gray one. Whoa! So, lots of face cleaning going on. That's pretty good. So, what else? I guess I'll have some updates for you after we get back from the. Um, after we get back from trapping today, it will probably be late. Oh, it's a cricket. Hey, you're so darling, aren't you? Oh, it. <laughs> so everyone but cricket is close to their spay weights. She's around 900, so she's got some growing to do. Um, I may end up swapping out uh, Junie for Cricket, because they're currently scheduled Katie and Cricket on Friday, and Badger and Junie on Monday, so I may s swap them out um, to give her a couple of extra days. And then, oh, aren't you so cute? See, it's a good thing we didn't do it. We, we were looking at trying to do some today, but actually it would have been okay probably for the tuxies to go today, but um, it's always hard to predict that. <laughs> ah, very adorable. Oh, 
Uh, let's see. I think I will post. Let me see if I can post Linda's update on people for happier cats. Ooh. Very cute. Function of foot in this room. You guys, ooh, you guys need your room vacuumed. You should do some rearranging. I wonder about the raccoon too. Um, his little friend was outside last night just sitting on our back deck looking forlorn. I'm sure that he probably, I mean, I'm sure that I'm projecting my feeling of that he feels forlorn onto him, but I, they did, they, they were um, siblings, we think, so. Um, they did, oh, I don't know, who knows? Who knows? I don't think, well, actually, I should check their Facebook page. I doubt, I doubt they would. Uh, let's see. Their Facebook page is, if anyone cares, Critter Care Wildlife Society. They're in Langley. They do the uh, wild animals. Oh, porcupine. So they, they do some pretty neat work. Um, they have bear cubs and coyote pups and stuff. That's pretty neat. So, They probably will not, I don't know if they'll post an update. It doesn't look like they do too many updates, but if anything. Hi, what do you mean? 
12, 16 p.m. Okay, let's see. Uh, I need to get some actual things done. Um, I need to get some things done. Let me give you snuggles to this ferocious Feral kitten. Oh, you don't get <laughs> What are you doing? Look at your little friends. They're having so much fun over there. They're having so much fun. <gasps> oh, get it. <laughs> Isn't it so hard to imagine these guys had they survived to be this old, which is doubtful, to uh, imagine them in the woods, like playing with pine cones and things. Although, sadly, they probably would not have survived. But they did, and they're nice and healthy. Except for their little cat colds. Everyone's got a cat cold right now. They're just super mild, super mild that they've had from birth, which is normally how it works. <laughs> Gift from Mama <gasps> Badger. I'm probably gonna see your mommy today. I'll let her know that you. I should bring uh, her a toy that they, that smells like kitten. Maybe she will. Oh, I just accidentally booped you in your face. Go again. Yeah, so we're going to go, Kimsey's and I are going to try to trap some kittens. And then <clears throat> we're going to uh, go feed, feed our side. And then we'll see if anyone there uh, wants to be trapped. Uh, we'll be probably a long, a long day over there, a long visit, but hopefully a productive one. Hopefully. Look at that little Katie did. Oh, she's so spicy. <laughs> so I will probably, let's see, I will think I will have to feed Cyrus and do his eyes once more before I leave, and then I can do them again tonight, right? What kind of thing? Yeah, that should work out okay. Should work out okay. Oh, I also need to go to the post office.
energy. If you go for a little swim, are you looking for your lap hole? Cricket loves the lap hole. She's pretty cute. Oh, Cricket. Oh, look at that little badge. Oh, so handsome. Oh, get it. So, uh, Cisco kittens um, are likely to be black or ginger. Um, or torty. I suspect she has the cricket coloring gene in there somewhere. I don't know how I don't know how that gets passed along with the white. Um, my understanding was that the more white the parents have, the more likely it is to be passed on to the baby. So in that case, she's probably less likely to have kittens with white on them. But um, And who knows if she has the, uh, if she has the Siamese recessive gene in her or the pointed recessive gene. Um, who knows? We just don't know anything. So I would say most likely is a litter of ginger, black, and torty kittens would be most likely. So far, most of the kittens from the colony cats have been, well, let's see, we've had, we had gray and ginger and dilute torty, which is like gray and cream, and tabby, I think mostly tabbies and tuxies, mostly, I think. So, one pointed kitten, like Katie, and that is Katie, and one cricket kitten. Because Harrah's were all tabbies. Doe's were tabbies and tuxies. Shelby's were dilute uh, torties. And ginger, I think. <laughs> that was a good count. Uh, Shelby, it has similar coloring to. Um, ooh! to uh, Cisco, and then Sloney, Echo's babies were Tabby Tuxie, Sloney's babies are in front of you, is that all, is that six? Oh yeah, yep, and so that's, that's what we've had so far. So who knows? Um, I haven't checked the camera for a couple of days, so that's another thing that I'll be doing today. Um, I actually had it in my laptop uh, on it must have been Wednesday when I trapped Cisco unexpectedly and uh, was like, so, you know, the adrenaline was going. So I just like took it out and put it back in the camera without even uploading the photos because I didn't want to wait any longer. I didn't want to keep her in the trap any longer than possible and then necessary. So, and I was already running around and like digging up ferns and stuff. So maybe I'll bring her home and meet Fern today. In years slowly. 
durable. I, I suspect she may be using the fern uh, as an auxiliary loot box. I'm not sure about that. I was trying to avoid giving her a box of dirt because I, I didn't want her to um, be encouraged to have babies in there, but uh, I'll check and see what's, I'll check again. I haven't, I don't spend, I try to spend as little time in there as possible, so. Um, And I don't go like back into all the crevices just because if she's back there, I don't want to stress her out too much. But um, no, not eating the fern, um, using the fern as a litter box because it's in a, it's actually in a litter box full of dirt. Oh, fern! That's that's a cute idea. I wonder. I don't know anything about types of fern. Um, so I guess I should go in there and check on her. Um, I'm trying to limit my visits in there as long as she has plenty of food. I think it helps for her to have me come in there less often. Um, is she still in the closet? She is sleeping in the closet. She jumps up there. Um, she can get there pretty easily from the cabinet of solitude. Um, did I give all of you your medicine, or did I just give it to you? It's crickets. I think I need to give everyone else their medicine, including you. Whoa! Aren't you so cute? You are so cute. Oh, are you having a poop? Ha ha, gotcha. That's very ferocious. It's very ferocious. There you go. Let's see. Let's see what Badger's poop looks like today. Water. 